This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we we'll bring to you and analyze the biggest entertainment stories and personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me. If you're on my. Your name is what? They already know. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. They already know. Okay. Please don't display his name. Thank you. Display <laughs> mine more. Mm, they already What's know. What's up? How's it going, guys? It's it's been busy, productive, cool. I can smell the end of the week. Uh, yeah. It's coming. We, yeah, we're almost there. Mm, yeah. Almost there. Yeah. Mm. I can smell it. Mm -hmm. Think about the North um, weekend trails for, for two weeks. Well, you just have one weekend. No, like for two weekends. I had um, no, just one, an so. amazing one last weekend. Uh -huh. So maybe okay, this weekend I'll just uh, lay low, you get me. So I'm not really looking forward to it. You feel me? You're not looking forward to it, though. You know it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I wanted to, it will happen. Mm. Mm. Well, I don't believe they... that, but cool. Okay. Mm. You don't have to, don't worry. Yeah, of course I don't. Anyway, oh. <clears throat> moving on. Mm -hmm. When the Williams announces September return of her show, the news was shared on Instagram alongside a caption which says, the 12th season of Wendy starts September 21. I'm excited for two things. What one is that, doing? yeah, she's back. What are you doing? Are you Second doing? one is I cannot share. I share it behind the scenes. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I thought that was behind the scene. You did hear it? It was not shared with me. It was, actually, it was. just now, before we came live. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm excited for when the Williams coming back. I just hope um, I held it a lot better and she mm. wouldn't have to be taking the mm. breaks. You know, you shouldn't be pressured to get back to work that mm. is making her do this. I hope she's actually ready to do this and in the right frame of mind to actually get back to work. And um, considering that the show would soon come to an end anyway, but she's Hi. tried 12 yes, seasons. Yes, she has it's tried. It's a long time. And the fact that um, the live audience, we don't know if the live audience will still be in the studio with her. And I'm also looking forward to what she did with the sets because mm. um, she mentioned... I think there will be a live audience. It will probably just yeah, be Yeah, but less, they used to be yeah. 200 so and of they can't reduce. be up to 200 yeah, anymore. Reduce. So yeah, I think let's just see how this goes. Yeah, I think that for me was one of the things that stood out because I know New York has was for the longest time a hotspot and now it isn't anymore but i feel like september is such a long time away that anything can happen mm. and i don't know if i'm being pessimistic now i'm not really sure but i, I don't want to get too excited because i can tell us how oh, the virus has got yeah, worse in, too much in new york water. and mm. whatever and then it's been cancelled but i like i like that she's coming back i think we need some tea even if it's not maybe it's not fake tea maybe it's not original tea but i like the way she tries to share deliver had her tea and I, I, I've missed it a bit of of Wendy. Okay, we're looking forward to that. Now moving on, um, Kanye West continues his Twitter rant, says he's been trying to divorce Kim since she met with McMill at Ward of for prison reform, accusing Kim and his mother-in-law of putting out a statement without his approval. And well, Kim has responded, asking that the media and public give the compassion and empathy that is needed as the family mm. goes through this hard time, stating that Kanye West is bipolar and his words sometimes um, do not align with his intentions, and that living with bipolar disorder does not diminish or invalidate his dreams and his creative ideas, no matter how big or, or unobtainable they may feel to some. Why did you joke like that? Because um, <laughs> of the way she said it. Um, she skipped all of that, obviously. But the way she said it, like, oh, okay, you guys have to show some empathy and some compassion for the, That's what she said. That's for what the sick said, and yeah. still suffering. That was how oh. it sounded. <laughs> but mm. if we want to be politically correct, then you could say the way you said it. That's how she sounded. That's literally, wait, I don't understand what? You're saying that was how when um so when if Kim you, sounded when you to you. Read it, when you read it, that's what that's the vibe nah, you come get. Come on, no, fair. honestly, unless we want to pretend like that is not what she's no, saying. No, unless but, people that think like you want to pretend, don't that with the we. No, no, no. <laughs> no I don't think, when I'm saying we, it doesn't you don't have to be involved in the no, we? As but long I'm as I'm on this table, like, I say we. No, or us are the viewers. Unless, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Unless people want to pretend that they didn't get that vibe from that a statement. Which vibe? A, a statement is more like. Okay, you Have pity on uh, suffering and what do you call it? No, ignore that. Now, our statement was more like, it's, not, it's clearly not okay right now. It's not mm -hmm. in the right frame of mind. So can we just 
gave him some privacy, empathy, show him some empathy, mm. and make sure it gets better. That's the way it sounds. Not Which like is what I said. It's what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. So that. So why are you saying it like what I said? Like for the sick and still suffering. Like let's show some compassion. I just used for the sick and still suffering, which was what Fifty Cent used for Jaru. It was supposed to be a joke, but clearly you didn't get it. So, <laughs> but back to what I was saying. Um, I just want to clear the air on this one as well. That uh, a lot of blogs are saying that McMill had an affair with Kim Kardashian, but that's not why Kanye is angry, or that's not what he has speculated. So it was when it they met about the prison reform, and mm -hmm. he felt he should have been carried along, you know, and all of that, right. and it wasn't carried along. But a lot of and do you think that's enough for a divorce, really? Um, like I said so yesterday. if the bloggers are thinking that it's an affair, I don't think they are overthinking it. No, if it. it's an affair, I don't think, knowing Kanye and knowing his bipolar self, I don't think he would be saying what he said about exactly. McMill. Because what he so said it's, about... It's not a conversation of whether or not it's, in, it's enough reason. It's, it's, the, the conversation should be that everything he has said, he has said with a distorted mind. And that's the problem. Mm -hmm. And I think for me, I don't know, I, I was trying to catch the conversation you and also were trying to have in the beginning. But I feel, I don't want to say I feel sorry, but I feel sad for him. And I, I feel, feel really sad. sad for Kim Kardashian and her family for the first time ever. But then I'm proud of her. Yeah, for the first time I ever, for that. me, I've actually feel bad for the Kardashians. Even when they come and tell me that they have one story, I'm like, guy, please, shift that big. But this particular one, um, dealing with somebody who has bipolar disorder is a lot. Mm. And I can't imagine what it would be like to have somebody who is on that type of platform. So you can switch and you don't even know when it's him who's talking and when it's an exaggerated. So I can't even imagine what happened after the switch was done and he's... His mind is kind of cleared back. How sorry and apologetic yeah, he'll be this is after taking her through a lot of emotions. You can, like, you can't it's, really it's, define it's it. It's going to be so hard. And then you have children and everything. It's just, it was just really sad for and me. To, yeah, for me, I to, think to this is that. one of the reasons why when people tell me they stopped watching, I'm sorry I'm bringing this in, Empire at season two or one, I feel like they should have continued. Because if you follow that um, um, series to mm. the last season, then you would understand what it means to have someone mm. with bipolar which was what their first son represented mm. in that movie yeah. like it was so extreme yeah. that i was wondering wow could yeah. you get this serious I and mean, mm. what is playing out with Ken kanye you're not realizing that what they did wasn't actually an exaggeration yeah. so i would like to say like i said i mean i'm proud of um kim with what yeah. she's doing but the part i want to address is when she said um even though you think his um dreams are not unobtainable and all that i think the part of being a president seems unobtainable right now because this guy is bipolar I'm yeah. sorry. I don't know how this is going to feel for the mental health movement and what it is, but I don't think a bipolar person mm. should be the president of any country, especially Shake the with, table, Elsie. Break um, it. The United States of America, where they can decide to throw, is it a nuclear weapon now? And you say you did it out of bipolar. Who is going to understand that? So I think personally, he should step down on trying to be president, especially with this that is playing out right uh, now. You're really shaking the table it's, because it's the conversation around yeah. um, able, ableism, meaning if you have a disability, how mm -hmm. far can you go in the society? Who gets to tell or like restrict people? It's an interesting conversation that you bring up, but it's not far-fetched, honestly, to be worried if it's somebody with bipolar disorder that's on this type of level where they even tweet irrational things and mm. cry on the campaign, whatever. I, I mean, think there's levels... Trump. He's not bipolar, but we see what is happening with Twitter. Tell so imagine... I mean, okay. I mean, I mean <laughs> <laughs>